reason most of us shout when we normally hear this is we think that when Jesus is preparing a place, we think he's preparing a structure. We think he went to develop a building. We think Jesus is in glory preparing a subdivision. But I'm looking at this thing a little differently this week, Lewis. Because if Jesus could create the whole world in six days, why did it take him 2,000 years to prepare a place for us to live? In other words, what has he been doing all this time? Has Jesus been engraving your name on a golden mailbox for the last two millennia? I, I think not. Because remember, Jesus has already said, in my father's house are many mansions. In other words, the mansions have already been constructed. In fact, in John's revelation vision, John already saw the new Jerusalem and what it looked like. John already saw in Revelation 21 that it had a wall made of jasper, that there were 12 gates made of pearls, three gates on the north and three gates on the south and three gates on the east and three gates on the west. He already saw that the foundations of the city had 12 foundations of precious stone. He already saw in the city a river of life running and the tree of life connected on both sides. He already saw that the streets were made of gold and it looked like transparent glass. He already saw that the city was in the form of a square and that its height and breadth and depth was equal. So that it's 1,400 miles long and 1,400 miles wide and it's simultaneously 1,400 miles high. So I'm wondering if the place is already done, then what he been preparing all that time? I'm glad you asked. So when Jesus says, I'm going to prepare a place, that word place in the Greek is the word tapon. And it literally has two meanings. Number one, it can mean locale. But the second meaning of place is the word opportunity. Ooh. So what the disciples hear is that the place is already complete. But what he's going to do is prepare an opportunity. Why does that make sense? Because he says, if I prepare a place, I can come again and receive you to myself. So why does he got to be a build a house in order to come back and receive me? That's not what he's doing. But he's got to complete an opportunity so that where I am, there he may be also. And see, I have a greater appreciation about what's taking him so long. I have clarity about what he's been doing while he's going away. When he says, I go to prepare an opportunity, I'm going to make sure that you've got access. I'm going to make sure that the door is open. I'm going to make sure that nothing disqualifies you from the reward. It is a pointing to the mediatorial intent intercessory ministry of Jesus Christ. See, the 70 weeks were completed on the cross, but at the end of the 2300 evenings and mornings, Christ would move from holy to the holy of holies, where he would do a work of intercession on the lives on behalf of his people.